We are very honoured today to have Mr. Chong Winket here with us to share his experience. Mr. Chong is my first art patron and he is the one responsible uh, to catapult me into this art career. Mr. Chong established a business concept, Private Limited, in 1990 to provide advisory services to business families and invest in private equity and property. He is also a third generation member of the Winking Group, a multi family business founded in 1937 by his grandfather and three friends. He was the first third gen successor of to Wen Ken and led the group from 1995 to 2011. As an entrepreneur, he has created and founded several companies. That is not all. Mr. Chong is an angel investor, artist investor, a co-author of parenting book, How to Raise Happy, Healthy and Intelligent Kids, and Guinness world record holder through ownership of the world's largest rare gem, Goshenite. He believes in giving back to society in three areas. He called ACE, A-C-E, Art, Children and Education. Uh, Mr. Chong, today actually we are trying to uh, share, I mean I'm trying to show uh, new artists, like to show them that the real uh, art patron, you know, how is an okay. art patron like? Of course, art patrons come in different uh, shapes and sizes, but uh, at least you are one example. Yeah. So um, actually, we met uh, in my first solo exhibition. I remember in two zero zero eight. So could you share with us, like, like uh, what made you come to my exhibition and, and okay. yeah, yeah. Uh, it was in two zero zero eight that I conceptualized uh, and co-authored and wanted to publish an educational parenting book called How to Raise Happy, Healthy and Intelligent Kids. And I wanted to find a calligrapher to write eight Chinese words as the chapter separator for the parenting book. So during that period, I visited uh, several art and uh, calligraphy exhibitions. I think it was at the Paragon that I you know I, I came to know about your exhibitions then I, uh, it's a stroke of luck and the fate that we met yeah, yeah, in yeah. 2008. You want to relate really the experience how we get to know each other? Oh yeah. So after we met in 2008, uh, actually I requested you to write the eight words for me. And then I remember I asked you how much you would be charging me for, for the eight words. And you generously say that, oh no, I mean, it's, it's okay for me. Uh, except you have to pay for the uh, framing cost, which yeah. I think is a very uh, fair way of uh, doing it and very generous of you. Uh, and then after that, you also invited me to attend a few of your talks on calligraphy. Yeah. And I remember I brought along my two sons to yeah, attend yeah. The, you know, the talk. And I could felt that uh, you know, your passions in the Chinese art, the calligraphy, and then also your attitudes. Uh, in a way also impressed me, you know, that uh, uh, you, know, you are very warm in the class and then uh, very committed you know, in conducting the course. So you, you shared with me, uh, like, uh, you actually uh, observed me from a distance. Yeah. So you want to share, like, how do you do that? Yeah. Okay, because uh, as an angel investor, I always believe that uh, you know, I creating value through people and idea. So people is the most important factor that uh, I assess in anything, uh, including the investment deal. So of course I get to know you, I look into your eyes, uh, you know, I mean I, I could feel the sort of passion that you have, okay, that uh, make me feel that uh, well uh, this guy is going to be a potential. Uh, I will say that uh, uh, at that time I would say that uh, it's an entrepreneur. That means yeah. uh, no, it would be good if he can combine his uh, artistic, uh, artistic skill with the entrepreneur street. You know? yeah, so yeah. it would be the entrepreneur, okay, which yeah. I think uh, you know, will be successful for yeah. me. Uh, just for the uh, background information, uh, actually what happened was uh, Mr. Chong, uh, one day he came to my house and he suddenly said that, Aho, if you can... Uh, 
if you dare to take the step to be a full time artist, yeah. then I will, I will, I will jump in with you. Then I was thinking like, wow, what does he mean? Uh. But later then I realized that he is uh, willing to invest in me, yeah. and uh, and that got me thinking. And uh, that is the one of the key reasons why I have the courage to 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 jump in. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but at that time, I I, rem I remember you tell me that there was this uh, Winkin seventy years, and then you asked the sculptor Sun Yu Li, the you, can you relate the experience? Yes, yeah. uh, it was the time the Winkin seventy years uh, anniversary, and then I wanted to do a project that could have the legacy for Winkin, mm -hmm. okay, not just for the year itself but the, for the subsequent years. So I thought uh, art were able to bring up the legacy for long term. Uh, but unfortunately, that was a family business. So I didn't have the free hand to use the family money. So I think the timing was good. When you approached me, I was thinking that, well, uh, I didn't fulfill my you know, the dream in, in the artist investment. But now I got this opportunity, why don't I, I try it out you know, with, with, with this gentleman? Which personally, I felt that uh, you met the criteria to be an entrepreneur. First of all, I think that you are gifted. Okay. And you have got the attitudes. And you've got the passion. And the most important thing is that you have got the skill since young, learning Chinese calligraphy and uh, Chinese art. And also at the right age. I think that time you are probably in 37, the 30 yeah. plus. So in the angel investment world, uh, well, you need to have the experience, you need to have the passions, you need to be at the right age, and then that is the time for you to really you know, uh, you know, build your career. So the age, the timing was right. And I also remember that uh, you, know, uh, you, you, you really know what you want. And you told me that, uh, you, know, the, uh, that you wanted to be a full-time artist. And the most important thing that I remember is that you told me that in future, if you're successful, you, want, you would like to build a platform to help other budding artists. And to me, is that since uh, you know, I wanted to give back to the society in three areas, art, mm -hmm. uh, children, children, and education. Yeah. So why not, if I could help these artists to build a platform to help more budding artists, that will be a sort of legacy, a long-term sort of, uh, you know, uh, you know, investment that I will have uh, gotten it. Okay. So, uh, well, that was the reason okay. why I invested in you. And of course, uh, visited you and your family also gave me a very deep impressions. I think you are, you are a very good family man, a filial son, and then uh, a very simple family with two daughters and uh, you know, a loving wife. So I think that if you dare to sacrifice your career you know, with uh, in the aerospace industry, I think that time was a very, very good industry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I see no reason why I dare not invest in you because you have put in all your, all your chips on the yeah, table. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I think if you fail in this project, you have got more things to lose than me. So, just now you were talking about your motivation. Yeah. But as an investor, I know investors, they will have like, uh, I mean, you must have some I would say Returns. more tangible aims. Yeah. So what was your aims like? Yeah. Well, uh, I, I always uh, you know, measure my rate of returns uh, in this acronym rate, yeah. R-A-T-E. The first R stands for return on investment, which I find that, well, uh, in artist investment, it is not the monetary return that I'm looking for. Of course, if I could get back the capital investment amount, that would be good. But more important thing is that the A, which is the alignment of objectives. I do have several objectives. Yes. Like for example, uh, I, I, like to, I, I think it will be a very interesting experiential journey to shadow a, a budding artist, to see his struggle and then his success or failure or the challenges he faced in the journey. So I thought that that was something that I couldn't be an artist myself. So the closest I could be is to be an artist investor, to shadow you and then to see how, how you make it. No? And the other objective is that, uh, you know, as I wanted to give back to society in the art, children mm -hmm. and education. So obviously, if you want to build a platform 
to help other budding artists that will fulfill my objective yes and with all these things in mind uh, frankly speaking the monetary return is not the priority okay but i felt that uh, well uh, I, I i like you also as a person very frank very jovious and that is the time that i spend with you for 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 the period even up till now, no, we still have regular meeting. I enjoy the time with you, and then you share with me about the, the knowledge uh, in the art industry. And of course, in the years, uh, we also build up a sort of uh, the E, the emotional capital. So I would say that uh, according to the rate of investment, the ROI, the alignment of the objectives, the time, the happiness that I have with you, and the emotional capital, I think is a very, very good return that, uh, you know, I've gotten from this uh, involvement. Uh, thank you. Yeah, yeah. So uh, thanks. So uh, just a sidetrack uh, for the audience. So yeah. actually, uh, what happened is three years into the about three to four years into the investment, uh, Mister Chong get a good. He he made a good structure. <laughs> so maybe later he will share. But uh, yeah, the structure was good, and then uh, he got back all his capital, right? Yes. Um, yeah. Uh, and also, uh, there's a rev this is a point that I learned from him, because uh, at the beginning, my mother and you know people around me were were asking me, "Hey, why is this chap investing in you? Like, are you sure he will make money?" And <laughs> at that time, I also don't know. But later, I realized that well, uh, for investors, I mean, sometimes they are not looking at uh, monetary return. So I think this is a point that uh, okay. maybe for young artists, uh, when they look for a patron, uh, they also can can consider this because uh, I think for people who can patronize the arts, I don't think earning the next dollar is at the top of their head. So maybe there are these uh, intangible uh, okay. things that they are looking out for. Yeah. So I think this is the point uh, learn and maybe a new artists can mm. can take. So uh, could you just share with the audience like what was the structure that you have came okay. up with? Yeah. Actually in the angel investing, the important thing is about the structure. When we invest, even before we invest, we must think of way of how to exit. Uh -huh. So that we know that uh, know, uh, whether we're going to make money or at least we don't lose everything that we, we put in. So the way that I structured the deal is that, no, uh, well, uh, no different from any other angel investment deal that I made. That I agree with uh, Ho is that, well, okay, we agree on the cost of the painting, different medium, different size. So, but if you could sell the painting, then we will share the profit. Okay, I think it was about 50-50% right, sharing yeah, the yeah, profit. Yeah. But if you couldn't sell the painting, well, then those uh, painting will be mine at a very uh, nominal cost yes, okay yes. and very fast we agreed on the deal and then he just simply dropped an agreement and i said okay i mean uh, i trust the person yes. and then we, we we signed the deal and uh, that's why you say uh, well the money that invested initially of course uh, no i mean the painting was not sold but the good thing is that uh, ho also suggested that he want to have an art gallery mm -hmm. So that uh, not only to sell his own painting, but also to sell third parties, uh, artists, uh, artists paintings. Okay, and that is a very interesting concept, a model, business model, because he was creating an ecosystem in the art industry, and I think that is very useful. And I don't think many artists have done that. Either they are good gallery owner or they are good artists. But combining both is very rare, and I agree to that. And true enough, after a few months, of course, I also tried to introduce uh, as a patron, hold some of my friends, uh, you know, to, to to ask him to commission some art pieces, and then he also get the you know the thing rolling, get in additional revenue, and those paintings that sold, I do get back the the profit as agreed. Yes. Okay. That's how we we we. I mean, uh, I I manage the investment amount, uh, you know, in a very. Uh, I would say that very safe way. And I would say that the best deal that uh, one could have made was a, a charity art event. Mm. Okay. 
that uh, on that day, uh, actually those... Uh, it's uh, Ernst and Young. Ernst uh, and Young, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. All those art pieces uh, display were painted by Ho. And uh, I would say technically those were, um, belong to me because was sold. And he managed to sell quite a fair number of pieces. And of course, as well, we agree, a portion went to the charity through Ernst and Young because there's a charity art. Yes, yes. I was more than happy to do that because that is redoing the charity. Yes, yes. And, and after that, a portion came to Ho, and after deducting the cost, I got back quite a, a, a handsome amount. And that actually uh, you know, uh, made me feel that, oh, that was a, one of the best investments that uh, in a way I could help the you know, charity, I could get back some of the investment costs. And I think that was how I, I, I gotten the investment amount within a few years. Yeah, okay, yeah, I would yeah. say that less than five years, yeah, yeah. the investment cost. And it was also the right timing that I suggested that, oh, uh, my investment in the gallery, yeah, yeah. why don't we convert that into more painting? <laughs> and then we agree on the same formula, you know, that, that if we could sell the painting, then we share the profit. If we couldn't sell the painting, then the painting will be uh, belong to me at a very uh, nominal cost. And then I remember a few years ago, uh, those paintings that uh, in the portfolio remain unsold, I strike a deal with a whole, just over uh, a dim sum uh, breakfast. No? I think within 10 minutes yeah, yeah, yeah. that we settled the amount and then he agreed uh, no, to settle it uh, by installment. I said, why not? No? Okay, we just close the deal. So the overall is, I would say that... So basically, uh, I buy back the, yeah, the, he bought the rice from me. <laughs> <laughs> he bought back all the things. But that was a very, very beautiful moment that yeah. I felt that uh, when talking about ROI, return on investment, not only I make back the cost within the five years, and I also make some uh, you know, return that I could answer to myself as an angel investor. Hey, that's monetary return, even in artist investment. If I structure it correctly, if I put into the right artist. So that was a very, very fulfilling investment that I've made. Yeah, so uh, again, uh, background. So basically what happened was uh, uh, Mr. Chong agreed to buy my paintings. He don't care what painting I paint. Yeah. Yeah, so we agreed on uh, uh, like a sale oh. price. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, it was very, very low. I mean, a nominal amount. So he paid me in a sense like salary. Yeah. Yeah. He, invest, he invested uh, as a shareholder in the art, gal in art commune when he first started. And then he paid me, we agreed on a deal to pay me a salary for two years. Yeah. Yeah. So this is uh, like how he yeah. did the investment. Yeah. I think the lesson learned here uh, retrospectively is that uh, I find that a lot of young artists are very concerned with the, the number like, oh, my price must be this. Yeah. If I sell too low, like no face. I yeah. think... Um, as a start, right, we got to be nimble. Yeah. And then, uh, I, because I was thinking to myself, wow, there is a, like, it's a guaranteed uh, income, right? Yeah. So it's okay. Uh, we just have to plan, take the plunge and uh, take whatever opportunity that comes along. So, uh, yeah, so, but I think at the end of the day, everybody is happy. Yeah. And, uh, you know, like what he shared, uh, eventually, uh, now that I have, you know, doing quite, Okay lah, you know, as a <laughs> as a business owner, I, I I buy back the rights. Actually, what happened was uh, after some time, right? I I lost track of how much I owe him. <laughs> then I I think that oh, that's a big problem. So eventually, I say I just buy back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I mean, I just add on something to, to that. Okay, yeah, yeah. It was a very fun moment. Okay, because uh, what you have asked for for the money salary. I could see that uh, it was a very big haircut from your previous job. And I was thinking that this guy is quite fair, you know? I mean, what he's asking is really some uh, basic uh, expenses for his, uh, you know, the food on the table and allowance. I, I think he's a very fair guy. That he's not asking more than what he used to earn as, uh, you know, uh, in the commercial world. So he's so willingly to, to have a pay cut and then he put it in sweat equity. So I was thinking that, oh, why not? No, I think it's a very fair deal. Okay. Yeah. 
So it was a very fun fun part that uh, we structured the deal and then we agreed on it and then well it ended up a very happy sort of uh, no partnership. Thank you. Uh, so uh, now that uh, I hope this uh, investment was a happy ending for you, will you uh, continue to uh, make another artist investment? Okay. Uh, individually, I may not invest in another artist. Okay, but never say never. Uh, it also depending on the some of the uh, divestment of my existing uh, private equity, especially my investment in the rare gem project. Well, if I could get a very meaningful monetary return for this uh, from this uh, rare gem investment, why not? I might even set up a foundation that really focus in the you no know, in the AC I talk about giving back to the society in the art children and education especially to those country that the gems came from ah okay because i think that the uh, artist investment it is really a sort of what we call angel philanthropic investment it is a type of impact investment. Mm. It is not just merely talking about the monetary return, but the impact it could give to the society and culture mm. in some sort that you cannot measure by the monetary return. And I, I think that is uh, you know, the thing that uh, you know, those who are you know, affluent or the high network individual should put in more efforts. You know, at the end of the day, it is not just the money. It is the journey that you walk, the, the legacy that you can leave behind okay, to the society and to the community you know, that have, uh, we have benefited from. Yeah, yeah I think uh, uh, Mr. Chong brought, a, brought, brought out a very good point. Is that in Singapore, uh, we often uh, put too much emphasis on art, on the, you know, the dollar return. Uh, not just collectors, but even government. Like everybody is uh, talking about the dollar value, but actually the the true nature of art is that it is an intangible asset. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I hope uh, uh, Mr. Chong would uh, inspire uh, uh, wealthy Singaporean to uh, come in and uh, invest in our, our art ecosystem. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you very thank much. You, thank you. Thank you.